adder at the I'm going to go and buy a large turkey today and I'm going to eat it early. So people literally pay for these animals to be strung up and have their throats slashed open for Christmas dinner. So I'm going to have a turkey every day now until Christmas. But I wonder if Piers Morgan would have the spine to come and meet these animals before he consumes their flesh. Hey darling. So if the vegan mafia wants to come and deal with me, good luck to you because I am ready. And no one even recognises these as victims. We now move to Christmas, everyone yeah. goes home and eats turkey. Yeah. And Not then, the vegans. Apart from the radical vegans in Brighton <laughs> who eat their kale. This is one of the lucky ones. The unlucky ones are served up on your plate for Christmas and holidays and served in between bread as sandwiches. So I'm gonna have a turkey every day now until Christmas. Turkeys are highly social and love to play. Recognise each other by their unique voices. Form loving and lasting bonds with their friends and family. Give turkeys something to be thankful for. Choose compassion. Hey Bramble, how you going? How are you? You're not dinner, are you? Beautiful, hello. Are you coming up for a cuddle? Hello. Hey Bramble. It's okay, don't be scared. It's all right, I'm a friend, I'm a vegan. I'm not Pierce Morgan, I don't want to eat you. Hey, it's okay, don't be scared. Pierce Morgan said something pretty insensitive, said he's going to eat a whole turkey for Christmas. All the animals you meet have their own unique personalities. <laughs> Bramble's doing the little tail dance. They like a little bit of a pat. Look how beautiful they are, these animals. Beautiful. Leave the turkeys alone, Pierce. They announced uh, families have a chance to come and name and care for their bird, their turkey, until it was killed for Christmas, because everyone eats, obviously, roast turkey on Christmas Day. The customers are coming in and buying the turkeys chopped up after they've been killed from this shop as alive turkeys are being dropped off in trucks. Uh, calling the farm owner twisted, psychopathic, a murderer, right? We've got uh, turkeys stacked up here in these crates, wings hanging out the side. They look pretty distressed and they're going in there to get slaughtered. And it can be in plain sight for people, they still don't make that connection. So if you see the individual turkeys in these trucks, they're suffering. This is their way out, basically. Check out these beautiful birds here. Uh, they naturally like to perch up high to it protects them from predators. They like to be up high. Um, you know, the majority of bird flesh people eat in England and around the world. Those chickens can't exhibit natural behaviour. But the point is, even if they could exhibit natural behaviour, they're getting hacked up into pieces. Sentient animals, beautiful sentient animals that want to just chill, they want to live in peace. Beautiful birds. Like, you would never eat a parrot, you know, or some type of bird, but f people f disconnect the fact that chickens are birds, you know? Roosters are birds. They're, they're, they're sentient birds, intelligent, very intelligent, and yeah, it's beautiful. These ones are free. We'd have to say that chickens, probably the second most exploited, murdered animal on earth after marine animals. Kept in big sheds, thrown in the back of trucks, you know, booted along the kill line, strung up, shackled upside down, throat hacked open. Don't give me that free range garbage either, because I could probably find you a free range shed. That's just a marketing ploy. Anyway. These animals are free ranging and I couldn't imagine anything, any harm coming to them. So anyway, they're free. They won't be harmed. They'll get to live out their lives here. Oh, 
All right, we're in a huge chicken farm here. Massive shed, there's probably about 50 to 100,000 birds in here. It's absolutely massive. They just look like just deformed and, you know, they're growing really fast real quick. This is where people get their chicken flesh from. It smells like ammonia in here. And they're all just little babies. Look at these two cuddling up over here. It's a massive farm of thousands and thousands and thousands of babies. Sick um, that human beings eat these poor little innocent birds. Hey darling, it's okay. Oh. Look at this little baby here. Look at him. People eat these little babies. They grow up full size in about six weeks, 42 days. And they get their throats slashed open and people eat their body parts. Okay, these little babies, poor little angels. And then Piers Morgan was talking about eating a whole turkey every day until Christmas. So I'm gonna have a turkey every day now until Christmas. <laughs> These birds are beautiful. This is a chicken. Beautiful infant little chick, okay? Horrible what we do to them. They need to be nurtured by their mothers, not harmed by humans. They just need their mother. Look, little baby chicks, only a few weeks old. Okay, darling. Horrible what we do to these poor angels. Look, this is a dead baby here. Just in amongst the others. This one didn't make it. Has escaped a life of hell. And they will, this poor angel would have been murdered anyway. But this is their fate, so people can eat chicken. How disgusting. I love you. This is Smalley. Yeah. Smalley's only little. You're not food, are you, Smalley? You're not food. You're just a little baby. Why don't people... Why don't people understand that you're just a little baby? You're only little Smalley. Adorable. Love you. What are you defending, Pierce? 